We're taking another look at the 2024 recruiting class, and we're going to shine a spotlight on four-star wide receiver TJ Abrams, who signed with the Florida Gators. We're going to look at his highlights. We're going to look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button right now because we're talking about the 2024 recruiting class every single day this offseason. We've talked a lot about the Florida Gators. We're looking at their spring practices. Gator fans, you may want to hit that subscribe button now because I'm going to have more on your players coming at you. On top of that, I'm talking about everybody as well. So you're going to need to hit that subscribe button because we've talked about nearly 300 players already this year of the 2024 recruiting class. We're talking about your team too. But here's TJ Abrams, four-star prospect per 24-7 sports. If you're here for just the highlights, fast forward a few minutes, we will get there. But we got to get to know him a little bit. 5'11", 175 pounds, four-star in both sets of rankings. The rankings in the composite, ranked as the 41st wide receiver in the class. That means we've covered 40 wide receivers prior to him this year since January. On top of that, in the composite, ranked 331st overall. I bet you, I bet you he's underrated by 24-7 sports. Rated as the 55th best wide receiver in the composite. I bet you when we get to the highlights, we're going to scratch your head. Because college football is saying different. We got 26 offers. Florida State, Texas A&M, Florida, Boston College. We got some Power 5 programs looking at them. We got some upside here. Maybe there's some different stuff here with him. But still, he's a weapon in the slot. Can get you chunk plays. Average 11.6 yards per touch as a junior. 677 yards total offense for Dunbar squad. Played in the playoffs. Size isn't verified, but has top end speed. We're running 10.62 in the 100s as a 10th grader, as a sophomore. We got speed, so more than likely he's probably faster or more explosive at least compared to that time frame. So we're looking at a guy that can really burn defenses. They got to hit the turbo button right here. Dude's fast, looking down here, looking at the times, 10.62, 10.77, 10.83, 10.85, 10.86, 10.87, 10 10.88, 10 10.89. Dude lives there. The dude lives there. That's a good thing. 6.89.60. He's got speed to burn, and that is something we're seeing with the Florida Gators. They're getting guys that have speed, top-end speed. They live in the 10s and the 100. It's verified. Because we keep covering these wide receivers. They're hitting numbers like this. We're seeing it on tape. He's got that Florida speed. We're enrolled with Florida. Florida State tried to latch on to him. But we are a Gator. Four-star prospect. Going over to on three. On three has him ranked 66. ESPN 33. Rival 71. 5'11", 175 pounds. LSU tried to get him. LSU tried to get after him. You see it right there. So a top-tier Power 5 program, Georgia as well. LSU is important to note because they are a wide receiver U school. I'm not going to say the because we also got the Ohio State Buckeyes too. But what does LSU like to look at when it comes to their wide receivers that we've noted in the recruiting process? Guys who are explosive, guys who are electric getting in and out of their breaks. We got to pay attention to that when we get to his tape. That's something we got to look at. That might be in this prospect profile here. We're going to look at the highlights. We're going to see what he's working with. We have almost eight minutes of highlights here. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We're in the slot on the first play here. Gator fans, hit that subscribe button. I got more coming at you. I actually saw a highlight from him in spring ball. Might have that posted on the channel here soon as well. We got speed. We got burst. Definitely see that. I see the electricity there. And he's fitting in with the theme I'm seeing with the Florida Gators here. Just getting that speed and burst. These last couple recruiting classes that we've covered here. You're starting to notice tendencies. And you got to look at the players that don't hit. You got to look at all of them. You're, you'll start seeing recruiting tendencies. And they're subtle. And you have to really look at the patterns. The pattern here with the Florida Gators and their wide receivers, skill players in general, 
on both sides of the ball, like DBs, they're they're going after they've been going after speed. They've been going after speed. Think of Eugene Wilson. Think of some of the other wide receivers we've covered here. Last wide receiver we covered was speed. That was just a few days ago. Look at him go. He's bursty. He's got he's electric. And they said slot where he can make the living at. If you're looking about the college level with that speed, you can put him on the outside too. That's what they said in the scouting report. We'll look at the route running. That would be indicative as well, but we got speed to burn. There we go. We got good contact balance. And we got burst. The burst is just as important. You're talking about getting off the plant foot off the break. What's happening there? Cameraman did us dirty because he ran a route there that got separation. Enough separation to garner the target. And I bet you it was beautiful. Cameraman did us dirty. Ah, oh, that's probably a beautiful route. Cameraman, come on. You got to get these guys recruited. Maybe you would have ranked, been ranked a little higher on these recruiting sites. That was a beautiful route. I know it was. I've seen enough routes in my day to know that was going to be a beautiful one. You did me dirty there. Seriously, though, we got speed. We got burst. Pop off the step. We're very sudden. We're very quick with our vision and our decisions here. And I'm just yelling out traits. If you see stuff, yell it out too in the comments. That's what we're here for. We're here to learn from each other. I started this out to learn about prospects. Because people keep coming to me and saying, these highlight tapes, they all look the same. And as I keep looking at them, through the years that we've been doing this on the channel... I understand why, but I'm starting to understand how to pinpoint differences and how to really consume this as a tool. The best way is just be open-minded with the player. Look at their upside. Understand the hit rates are not going to be great for every prospect you look at. But if you look at them open-mindedly, look at their traits, look at where they can be successful... And then just hope that they develop going forward. That's probably the best way to look at it. And just understand the hit rates are the hit rates. Right, he does have the tools to be successful. Especially with the speed, the suddenness, the quicks. We saw that one route, how he broke that off. That the cameraman screwed us over with. You gotta also got to understand. We got ball skills. You also got to understand. High schools don't ask their wide receivers to run a full route tree. The route tree's probably there. It is there. I guarantee it with how sudden and quick he moves. Like right there, that, that little break there, that cut, the, the spin move, how quickly he can break off routes. It's there. It's there. I wonder if he's ranked low because he got ate up in a 1v1 or a camp or an all-star game or something. The thing about that, that could have been just a bad day. Could not even happen. They could be just relying on these highlights. Maybe it's just limited information. College football definitely wanted him, though. College football did not care. Look at the pullway speed. You can definitely use them on special teams. Very versatile player. Now we're at DB, right? Kids, if you're watching this, you may want to, like... I like how we went wide receiver than DB. But split it up with like a, a screen saying, hey, defense here, offense here. Like, here are my wide receiver plays, here are my defensive plays. Don't go back and forth with it. Organize it a little bit. You don't know if you're going to have to hit the portal later. And you do not know what your situation will be two, three years down the road. A lot of these players we're looking at are top prospects, but we're also starting to get down the rankings as well. Organize it. Make sure you're good to go. Be prepared. Because I'm seeing people ask for film reviews of their high school tape, who's been in college for a few years, for content creators on TikTok, just so they can get more noticed. 
Make sure it's as digestible as possible. We're in the backfield here. It's a jacks of all trades player. My assessment's really there. He's got good ball skills. We're quick. We're fast. The scout report's pretty attuned with what he's about. I would say his route running is probably a lot better than what was noted in the scout report, if it was noted at all. Probably should have been noted. Probably a better asset to that with him being in the slot. Probably got a little Percy Harvin in him. If you're a Florida Gators fan, you're still holding on to the video. If you're still rocking with me. Due to that speed, his versatility in the backfield. I think we said that about another Florida player. Pushing him over, getting some blocks. Where are we at here? Highlight him. Highlight pre-snap, please. I want to watch you how you move. Okay. So, are you getting the ball? Are you blocking? Is that you with the block? You highlighted yourself as you blocking. So. Here we go. We're on the outside. He's got some thickness. They said size wasn't verified. I think the size is okay. Definitely got the size to compete at the college level and to grow into a frame. Definitely has that. They're using him in the backfield. That looks like to me he's got some compactness. He can hold up. I think I'm not worried about his size. And we know these players are growing into their bodies. If you want to look at my evaluations, the one thing you say about him is I look too much half full. But I do call out some things but what i like about him is he's got speed he's electric not just with his feet but with his mind he sees things quick he's very decisive i like that he's got a good frame to him he showed off some ball skills he's got great footwork doesn't really drift on his brakes at all especially on his cuts when he's breaking down guys in front of him to create separation with the ball in his hands and then when the ball is in the air and he's creating separation with the route he can do that. He's not really asked to do that too much, but he can do that. We saw that on that one route where the cameraman cut us off. That was a beautiful route. We saw the tail end of it, and I can definitely tell he can break off routes. He can give us more than what his high school allowed him to advertise because he's very sudden. His feet is swift. He's very quick, and he's a very sudden mover. I think he's got a lot of upside here. He just has to develop and work up into his top end. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.